Hello everyone, welcome to Don Amots. You're back with me, my name's Adam. We've got Wendy and we're going to show you around our latest arrival. It's an Eldis Accordo 140. It's a 2015, it's done 15,000 miles. It's on a Peugeot, it's a 2.2-130 brake horsepower manual. It's a lovely little two-berth motorhome, nice lounge area. So it's two travelling, two sleeping. It's been really, really well looked after by the previous owner and it's in really nice condition. So let's have a look around and see what you've got. Um, down the side, as you can see, the decals look really nice. Toilet cassette lives just in there, and your gas locker's just here. So there's room for two six kilo bottles in there, so you can use one and travel with a spare. Water fill there for your onboard water tank, and your drain off point just underneath. You've got rear lounge on this one, uh, but on this, you do have um, a garage door, so you can put stuff straight in when you're traveling. Yeah. Storage underneath both the benches. This is in the back lounge. Same on this side, and it goes all the way down. I when you can see in there. Um, yeah. But there's loads and loads of storage. Um, so that does open if you want it to. Round onto the passenger side. Your leisure battery lives in there, and your hookup point is in there as well. So it's it's locked away. So you're on site. Nobody can mess with it. Um, vent for your whale heating. So it's the blown air heating on this one and your fridge vents there, you don't need to do anything with them, just keep them nice and clean and clear. And your diesel point is just there. So let's go inside and have a look. You've got fly screen on the door as well. So in to the van, down to the cab, you've got your two captain's chairs, six speed manual gearbox. You've got cab blinds on your windscreen and driver and passenger door. All your steering wheel controls you'd expect. 12 volt point in the front as well and it's only done just over 15,000 miles yeah. table which clips into the back rail which I'll show you later, later in the video just stows away nicely behind the seat mm -hmm. over into the kitchen before we get there you've got your main control panel really really easy to use only five buttons and they're all quite self-explanatory into your kitchen area you've got your worktop extension we've got locker storage at the top with plate rack and cup holders already built into there you've got your heater controls and extra plug sockets for kettle toast or anything like that sink just in here with the draining board in there and then over onto the hob you've got three ring gas hob and we've got your combination oven and grill with more storage further down your fridge is the Dometic three-way, so you've got gas, electric, or and you do have a travel mode. Mm -hmm. Freezer compartment at the top. Loads of room just for the two of you. Uh, before we go down into the rear of the van, we'll come over to the bathroom yeah. first. So it, um, it's a wet room, but it's really quite spacious. So you've got storage, you've got toilet, shower, you've got your sink and mirror, and there's more storage under the sink as well. Mm -hmm. Close that. Moving further down, we've got wardrobe storage. You've got your aerial in there as well at the back. Yeah. This does come up. Wendy closes that yeah. first. So you've got extra sur work surface space there as well. And then you've got all your fuses, trips and switches are all in there. Yeah. And then down into the rear of the van, really, really spacious great layout because you can use this as two single beds or you can make it into a double bed if you want to um, storage lockers all the way down the van and around the back I won't open every single one because you'll get bored and then same on that side and we do have a TV point here so you've already got your bracket mounted your aerial 12 volt and plug socket is just there yeah. various light switches and then with your bed, it literally just pulls into the middle, mm -hmm. cushions drop down and you can make up a really, really big bed if you want to, or you can just leave it as the two singles. Uh, really, really nice choice. So it's in really, really nice condition. It's been really well looked after. Um, You'll be really pleased if you do come and see it. If you do want to come down, give me a shout. My name's Adam. Pick up the phone uh, and ask for myself uh, and we can make an arrangement for you to come down, have a look at it and see if you like it. Thank you.